Okay, now we're going to come in and do some cleanup to our map and uh, do some simple cartography. In 2015, I had actually uploaded and then downloaded this again. So we're going to start off with um, it with some broken links. And uh, you may find that this happens to you if you move the files around. So uh, just uh, assume that maybe there was a small error in your work and you go ahead and uh, start here. Close this now. One thing you go down here and you say, "Oh, what happened to my um, my DEM and so forth?" So you see this red exclamation point. So this means that it doesn't know where to find those files because they were in another uh, directory that was called Arnett Creek Maps Aerosmith. So if you right-click, we can do Data Repair Data Source. So if we then go up to the desktop and click here on uh, Arnett Creek Layers and just do the DEM, it'll fix it. And so what that means is it just had to find the new location again. So this is an important lesson if you start getting those red arrows of or red exclamation points. Okay, so got our unit. So this is a quick uh, lesson in some cartography. So striking dips look pretty good. Contacts are good. They're if we look, they're line weights. They're the right symbol, li right line weight one. So the faults. Let's look at the faults. So the faults, approximately. So probably we need to do fault line weights as two. So let's do fault line weights two. Okay, so now the Arnett units, this one's going to take a little work to symbolize correctly. So the first thing is, let's put the, these guys in the right order. So if you just push them, you can get them um, correctly located. So and this will be useful for later for the explanation. Stratigraphic order. And now let's pick the color. So we're looking at them. So QA is a nice yellow but let's just choose one here maybe a nice yucca yellow and then we'll do every one of these has no outline because if we remember we have the contact so QC let's do a darker kind of a an electron gold maybe no outline ME was a blue No outline. This was a purple. This is the diabase, was kind of a pink. Troy is a green. And scowl was a nice light blue. German Springs is another is a sort of a bright orange. Volcanic seven. Pioneer was a brown. And this is a gray. Okay, so now we've got a nice looking map with with the uh, polygons not having any outlines and so that way the contacts are looking more correct. So we've got one error over here, which is that, um, let's look at this. So this polygon right here is supposed to be colluvium. But see how it's an XYM. So that's a good way to check our map. So let's go editor, start editing, units. And then let's <clears throat> pick this guy. We'll right click, open attribute table. And 
and go find him. And so this is uh, supposed to be QC enter. And so when you make that change, you can see it automatically updates the uh, pattern. So now we can say, okay, save our edits. Good. Now we can do a few other things. Let's go ahead and label these guys. So our net units, let's label the features. But you see now we need to set the right labeling. So labels from the unit abbreviation. Let's make it 14. There. Not too bad. Maybe they're a little big. Let's try 12. Okay. Now, if we do a light transparency, let's do maybe 25% is not too bad. But let's put the PRG on can sort of see nicely through it and we have a decent looking map so now a key thing is if you look down here we've been sitting on the data view but if we click on the layout view basically we have a piece of paper that's our map and not too bad we can pan around a little bit to kind of center it notice how the the map is like a window to the data and so that when we pan using this, we don't actually move around on the piece of paper, we move in the map. And our little view here, uh, is, which is called a data frame, is exactly fixed our uh, north arrow in. So insert north arrow. So I like this one. Put it down here. What let's do is let's get the arrow move the data frame over so then we can put a few things in north let's put uh, scale bar insert scale bar <clears throat> now you see it says property so one thing I like to do is switch over to meters for the units and then you'll see okay so there that's pretty good 160 meters try to get it to a round number like 600 and now let's do the uh, legend or the explanation. So this is a little <clears throat> trickier. So what we want to do is, is what's on the right is what's included. Let's get rid of the DRG. We have our main things here, are the strike and dips, context, faults, and units. So we can just, uh, I don't, I prefer to call this the explanation. And just leave this as it is. So we have this fairly extensive explanation which takes up a lot of room. Let's first go in and what we can do is if you right click on the legend and you go to items, style, properties, general, what we don't want to do is we don't want to include the heading which says type because it it's just extra space. Notice there it says Arnett S and D's. So that's pretty good. Now let's do the same thing for, let's go to the other ones. So contacts, let's click here. Style, properties. Don't show the heading. And then same thing with the faults. Style, properties. Don't show the heading. Stay in here for the units, style, properties. Don't show that. Okay, so it's a little bit tidier. And now we may have to make our map a little smaller because the explanation is so big. So you can just grab it. This thing can be a little smaller. So we have to play around with this. We want to, the map is more important than the explanation. Finally, if we want to put a little text in, let's say we can just click over here. So it says, so we have to find it, and we can say, you know, geologic map of Arnett Creek, Ramon Aerosmith, um, 
March 1, 5, 2, 0, 1, 5. Um, and then let's change the symbols, make it a little bit bigger, 16. Now it's a little wide, maybe. There we go. Put that in there. Maybe double <clears throat> click, make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to 18. There. Okay, pull this up here. So save. And then you could, the final thing would be to export. You could just print it, but you can also export map. And what you may want to do is you could export as a you know, JPEG or something. Or what I usually do is do a PDF because that has the most information. So I could say, let's use the date as the file name, beginning. 